So as you can see, it's a 2014 Level 3 Physics Electricity paper. Question 1. Zooming on down. Uh, AC. The ideal transformer shown below. Ideal transformer means uh, we're going to get 100% of the power transmitted um, or transformed through the transmission. It has 3,000 turns um, on its primary coil, so it's stated that there, and 600 turns in the secondary coil. Um, 240 volt RMS AC power supply connected across the primary coil or secondary coil is connected to an external circuit. Um, so let's calculate the RMS voltage across the external circuit. So this is our ratio here. So we've got 3,000 turns over 600 turns um, is going to be equal to the 240. Sorry, other way around. Um, Dave was waiting for some kids to move on, but they're not going to. This is the 240 over um, whatever the voltage happens to be uh, for the secondary, which is weird. So you rearrange that uh, and work it all through. And so VS has to be less than 240 um, for um, the ratio to work, which is what you would expect, because you've got less turns, um, and therefore, uh, yeah, this um, flux through the whole um, coil if you're looking at the flux per coil so there'll be a less voltage okay yeah, just question or part two calculate the peak voltage across the external circuit so um, previously you might have noticed that we had the RMS value um, to get the peak value it's um, the square root of two times by the RMS value. Um, it's because it's V peak divided by the square root of 2 gives you the RMS. It's just a rearrangement of that. Um, so we're going to do square root of 2 times um, that voltage that we calculated there. And that's going to give us some number. Um, moving on, B explain why RMS values are often used to describe AC voltages. Um, because it's a uh, changing voltage, it's easier often, especially with power calculations, to work with a um, steady average value. We say average like this. Um, because it's a different type of average. If we took the strict average, um, it would be zero because all of the above bits and zero, below bits would cancel each other out. But um, so it's, it's useful um, to have an average, uh, which is a root mean square average, um, to just to um, show what's going on and to be able to compare to DC. So that's, that's really the biggie. There might be after a little bit more info than that, but you can check um, in the solutions. There's enough hints. These are really about hints for you to get you going. Um, the external circuit consists of a resistor and inductor as shown here. Um, the frequency of the power supply is 50 hertz. So you'd imagine 50 hertz on that side. And then you've got the one transformer and then the other transformer is still going to be 50 hertz on this side. So this is an LR circuit because we've got an inductor and a resistor. This is by drawing a phasor diagram. You hate phasor diagrams, don't you? Um, <laughs> by drawing a phasor diagram, show how the impedance of the external circuit can be calculated. Impedance is Z, um, and the impedance is the combination, vector addition if you like, of these um, phasors. So we've got the resistance, the one we always draw um, to the right, the, um, that's R, and then um, the inductor is producing... Um, the inductor leads, you can do that whole civil thing if you like, V I L. So, um, or lags, lags? I've got that round the wrong way. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where I was up to there. I think I, think I was second guessing myself about uh, where um, the impedance for the inductor should be. Um, following the civil one, if you remember that, um, the, uh, the, the phasors rotate um, 
anti-clockwise, um, and the inductor is ahead of of the um, the voltage uh, of the current, I should say, and the capacitance is behind the current, and the current follows with the resistance anyway, and the voltage for the inductor. And anyway, so I was second guessing myself, got interrupted with the resistor. Carrying on. Okay, so this is the correct phasor diagram um, for that. XL, we have to calculate um, from uh, 2 pi, um, <coughs> excuse me, FL, uh, in fact it's 1 over, no it's not, <laughs> I'm second guessing myself far too many times at the moment. Um, anyway, you calculate the inductance, um, you've been given your resistance there, and from that you can do your calculation, that's XL, just shift it across the side um, to find your Z value, use a bit of Pythagoras. Um, okay, this is a bit of a mess this video, I apologise, um, should try and do these with a bit more scripting in the future. D, capacitor is added to the external circuit, so and it'll cause it to be a resonance. So we're dealing with an LCR circuit now, inductor, capacitor, resistor. Um, determine the RMS voltage across the capacitor. Um, so when it's at resonance, VRMS um, for, well, let's just do it, VC is going to be equal to VL. Um, because at resonance, those are equal and opposite. Um, the voltage across the um, capacitor equals I RMS times XC. So um, we don't have XC, we can't calculate XC. Um, can we calculate I? Let's just have a little cruise up to where we were before. So we probably can't do that. Let me just think about this for a moment. Okay, of course. Um, I is just going to be V over R. Um, we calculated, because because the voltage across the inductor and the ca capacitor will cancel out, you're left with just the voltage across the resistor, which is the voltage across um, the whole um, sort of external supply you know, coming out of the transformer on this side, which we calculated earlier. earlier. So we do have VR calculated from um, the voltage that's coming into the secondary coil. Um, we know R, we can calculate I. Um, we don't have XC, but XC, the impedance of the capacitor, should equal XL, which we can calculate, or we did calculate, uh, calculate above. Um, so we know we can, we can use VC equals VL, which equals I, which we know from, uh, from over here. Um, and XL, and XL we do know from an earlier question up there. Um, so we can then calculate the RMS voltage across the capacitor, because it's the RMS voltage across the inductor. Okay, that's probably one to go back and watch again, just to make sure that you get all those bits, especially since I was fluffing around um, with those um, peculiar um, bits in the middle. I would like to say that I'm sick and distracted. <laughs> But again, I should try harder for you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, next question coming up shortly.